long ago, I made the world's biggest pizza in Minecraft. And surprisingly, it came out really good. So that got me thinking, I should make another giant food. So today, we're gonna make the world's biggest burger. All in Minecraft hardcore. And I'm totally not making this video as an excuse to eat a burger today. Nope, not me. I would never do that. Okay, so our first step is to go find a location to build this burger. So let's grab some fireworks and some more food. And off we go on our burger adventure. Oh, I kind of like this area down here. It's pretty flat. There's no trees. And most importantly, it's right next to our giant pizza. I say it's perfect. And now we terraform. What the heck? There's gonna be a giant cave under my burger. That can't be healthy. Uh, maybe this isn't the best location to build. And about 30 minutes later, we have a giant flat area and a lot of birch wood. But okay, let's begin building. So everybody knows food is only as good as the plate it's served on. Okay, that's not even close to true, but, but the point is I want to make a cool plate for my burger. So into the cave we go and I'm looking for some diorite. I said diorite, not die. Emphasis on the iorite. That was a close one. Oh, diorite. Thank you very much. And let me just grab one of these bad boys. Well, that's my last one. We're gonna have to be extra careful today. I mean, it's a burger. What could possibly go wrong? Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, not good. All right, so giant plate. So I guess we're just gonna make like a giant white circle because that's pretty much all a plate is. Just a giant flat circle. Now we just fill in the center, which is gonna take a lot more diorite than I thought it would. And the end result is... Um, one second. Aha, there we go. Maybe I should change the title to I built the world's largest plate in Minecraft. But all jokes aside, it is officially burger time. So step one was to find some inspiration for this burger design. So I did what any artist would do. I ordered a burger. Then I could study it and make the perfect Minecraft build. But then I ate it. So instead, I set up the whiteboard. So you got your essentials. A bun, a burger, and some cheese. But of course, you can't forget the other toppings like lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, bacon. And after a couple more things, you have the perfect burger. Oh, that really hurt. And for the record, that burger was pretty tasty. Okay, so first things first, we gotta figure out what block we're gonna use for the bun. So what do we have in here? Hmm. Uh, eh. Ooh, what are you? Stripped jungle wood. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, this actually is a pretty good bun block. Well, that settles that. Now I just gotta go get a ridiculous amount of jungle wood. Actually, right after I go heal up my tools. I was not paying attention. <laughs> And that's much better. Side note, I should totally build in the end again soon. I love this place. I take it all back. But okay, here's the jungle. And I'm gonna need a whole lot of this wood. Wait, I'm not picking it up. What the heck? Oh, you stupid Enderman farm. I hate those guys and their stupid shiny eyeballs. Just for the record, I really hate stripping wood. It's so boring. Okay, so for the bun, we're gonna take out our jungle wood and just make a gigantic circle. And then strip all of it and raise it all up by about two or three more blocks. Okay, this part here is actually torture for me. Oh, man. Okay, wait. Big brain idea coming up. My plan was to just top off the bun right here and bring it across the top. But what if instead we take some red terracotta and kind of drip it down the side, almost like it's barbecue sauce or ketchup, depending on your tastes. And all right, yeah, that actually is really good. It might not seem like a lot, but I promise you guys, it is, it is really good. Good. I didn't hear that guy. But, uh, carrying on, let's go slap a hamburger on this bad boy. No, not you. I meant, like, the burger around you. Sorry about that. Okay, so there's actually a lot of different blocks we could use for burger meat. But I think we're gonna use some spruce wood. Just to keep the whole wood theme we got going on here. And that's also the easiest block to use, because over here, I have a wood factory. Well, hello there, amazing farm. Time to give me a bunch of spruce wood. Yeah. I love when things work automatically. Now we simply take our spruce, and we're gonna go one off the side like this. Yeah, I think that'll look good. Oh, look at all these hungry guys. Guys, I'm sorry. Let the chef cook. 
Wait, I'm already all out? I swear I had a ton of wood. I guess I don't. Oh my god, what the heck? Enchanted diamond zombie. How do you do, sir? As a matter of fact, you don't gotta wait for the cooking. Have a bite right now. Yeah, he likes it. He wants more where that came from. Just give me a minute. Cooking takes time. So let's run down to my mob farm and grab some bones, which will allow us to repower our tree factory. This thing goes through bone meal like crazy. And back to cooking we go. No, you're burning. No, come under here. Survive. I love you. No, oh, I was going to name him Jeff. He was going to be my personal assistant. R.I.P. Jeff. I continued building, I had a really good idea. Hold on a second. I think I'm going about this build entirely wrong. Anybody could just build a hollow burger build in Minecraft. But we're not just building a build, we're cooking something. Let me explain. For example, I don't want to just place down brown blocks and say, oh, it's a burger. I want to make a real burger with real meat in it. So what if I filled up the hamburger layer with some actual cows? No, come back here. Come on, you know you want to be in the burger. Look at him, he's walking towards it. Atta boy. Let me just grab some leads to make this a little bit easier for myself. We have one cow, two cows, three, four, five. And thanks to the power of breeding, we have about 50 cows. And don't you worry, all these cows are extremely happy and healthy. Just look at all the space they have to roam around and be free. Inside of a burger. But still, kind of free. But all jokes aside, I absolutely love this idea. We're quite literally making this burger come to life. Oh, and of course, we gotta do something cool for the bread, too. Uh... I think our bread's getting kind of moldy. Die! It's like a conga line of creepers! Where was I? Oh, yeah, the bread. How does a giant wheat farm sound? Because everybody knows you need wheat to make bread. I'm not sure how it works in real life, but in Minecraft, you do need wheat. Though this might take me a while. I need a lot of seeds, but it will be done. Ooh. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Uh, where are you going? I'd heavily consider not walking that direction. Oh, gosh. Uh, um, oh no, they despawned? That was tragic. Oh, what the heck? We got visitors all over the place. Guys, I get it. I make the best burger in my world, I know. But you gotta be patient. Stop fighting. There's enough for everybody. But for our next topping, it's time to make the cheese. And I'm very curious about a certain block. I'm wondering how some yellow concrete would look. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie to you. I can't think of a more perfect block than that. It was either that or raw gold, which I don't think would be easy easy to come by. Why do I have two stacks of raw gold right here? <gasps> oh, I completely forgot something. I was using gold as my statue's hair color, but then I dyed my hair blue, so I should probably fix that. So... And much better. Okay, let's get back to the cheese. That's a really funny sentence out of context. So for yellow concrete, we're gonna need some sand, some gravel, and some yellow dye courtesy of my sniffer statue. Because I have a secret little flower farm up here. Activate. Ah, look at her go. So many flowers. Okay, so let's throw this cheese all around the burger. And I think we'll bring it all the way across just so the cows don't get out. Kind of like a cheesy lid for the cows. Now, currently, it doesn't look very cheesy, but I have a solution for that. I'm thinking we kind of have the cheese drip down a little bit, almost like it's melting. Oh, I guess the Minecraft gods hate that idea, but I don't care. I'm doing it anyways. And the cheese is looking absolutely glorious. And I'm going to grab some milk to throw inside the cheese, because that's realistic, right? Uh, sure, why not? Now, so far, the burger's looking pretty good, but we need this burger to look epic. So I say we go back home and get some more wood, and we can make a double-decker burger, because I do think the taller the burger is, the cooler it's gonna look. I just gotta say, old Broderick over here is very lucky I decided to make a burger and not a chicken sandwich. You better be nice to me, dude. Double Decker Burger incoming in three, two, one, and boom. And yes, it is hollow, but don't patronize me. I don't have the time or the patience to fill every layer in. But oh baby, this is one chunky boy. Almost as chunky as you, Broderick. Haha, <laughs> get wrecked, stupid chicken. 
at this point, we've pretty much built all the basic burger essentials. But now it's time to have some fun and put some exotic toppings on it. First up, we're making lettuce. And to do this, we're going to the driest biome in Minecraft. It's very ironic, isn't it? But personally, I think taking some terracotta and dyeing it green might be the perfect block. Whoa, that's a cursed block. Okay. But let's do a little experiment. Down here is my cacti farm, which can actually get me green dye. So let me grab some cobble to make a furnace. I feel like I'm back on day one Minecraft again. But okay, let's smelt the cacti up. And... Uh... That looks a little too dark to me. I prefer fresh lettuce. But what if we try some lime terracotta? Yeah, I can rock with this. All right, then let's do it. Back to mining. Hello, big cave alert. This is interesting. Oh, no. Poison spiders. No, please leave me alone. I'll do anything. I'll give you my credit card details. Just stop. <laughs> gonna go, gonna go, gonna go, gonna go, gonna go. Okay, bye. Let's just take a little pit stop at the old pillager castle. Because somewhere down here, we have totems. Aha. Thank you very much. I love when my builds actually come in handy for once. Okay, let's smack down our layer of lettuce. What the heck? I think my lettuce is broken. I'm just gonna keep going. Pretend that didn't happen. And what can I put? on top of this thing to make it realistic. Aw, oh, do you guys remember the glare? That guy would have been perfect for this. So I guess mangrove leaves will have to do as a replacement. Not as good as the glare, though. Wow, that's actually a really good block. All right, sweet. And of course, you can't have lettuce without tomatoes. And for that, we're actually gonna head back over here to the mesa biome, because I have a really cool plan. Aha, there it is. If we hop over here and take some of this red terracotta, we can smelt it into this beautiful glazed terracotta, which if you ask me, looks very much tomato-y. And you mix that with some red wool, and now we're really cooking. Literally. That looks so cool. But here's the tricky part. What Minecraft thing looks like a tomato? Uh, maybe apples? Nah, apples are a fruit. That wouldn't really make any sense. Wait, are tomatoes a fruit? According to Google, they are. Well, ignoring that mind-blowing fact, why don't we take some wild sheep and dye them red like a tomato? I know it makes absolutely zero sense, but it's kind of funny to me, so I want to do it. Come on, my sheep friends, and gently follow me up here. That was... Very bad. Oh, dear. A few moments later. And okay, here are our little tomato people. I'm probably gonna have to breed them a lot more than this, but for now, we're all good. Now, at this point, the burger is about halfway done. But before we carry on, I gotta take care of something really important. Last episode, I said if the video got 10,000 likes, I would survive in the nether with no items on me. And you guys absolutely smashed it. But oh boy, this is not gonna be an easy challenge. So I guess the best way to go about this is to fly really far away away. Over here should suffice. And we're gonna make a brand new portal. And my sole objective is to get back home without using any of my items, armor, or even totem. All right, shulker boxes, I'll be back for you later. It's time to start the challenge. All right, here we are. I guess I'm not far enough away. Okay, BRB. <laughs> Okay, I think we're far enough away. Mostly because there's no snow near my base, so I must be far away. Hashtag science. Okay, let's try this thing again. Whoa. Oh, okay. I already see trees. That's a good sign, but I think I'm in a cave right now. Hello. Not the greatest spawn, but let's just get some wood and get ourselves started. Make some planks, make a crafting bench. Boom. And let's get ourselves some wooden tools. Just confirming. I can't make a netherrack pickaxe, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. But all right, let's go begin our journey. Okay, let's carefully try and bridge across to somewhere else. Careful. Careful. Okay, okay, we got some land. But how do I get home from here? Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, not good. Not good. Leap of faith. Ooh. Ah, you can't get me. Whoa. Whoa. I need food so badly. Please die. No food. Oh, yes, they're fighting. Okay, if I'm lucky, that might mean there's food down there. There is. Uh-oh. This is not a great situation to be in. Yes, Mr. Zombie Piglin, come this way. I'm pretty sure those guys are very afraid of you. Oh, where's the meat? It must have despawned. Uh, I guess we just keep running this way. Oh, dear. At this point, I'm kind of desperate. Here goes nothing. Oh, get in here. Okay, 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 okay. This could work for food. It's very slow, but it is safe. 
And the total haul is... Ooh, a gold sword. And one rotten flesh. I'll take it. Thank you very much. But I'm gonna need more than that. Okay, I'm slowly but surely regaining my health. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Please, 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 please. Not a fan of this terrain right now. Oh, oh, baby. I see a fortress. This is gonna be super risky, but there could be food in there and I need it really badly. Just for the record, I am sweating a lot. Oh my gosh. So far, so good. This is not what I had in mind. <gasps> Wait, a brown mushroom. I can make mushroom stew with that. We got a red one here. We got more brown ones over here. And we go boom and we go boom and we have a food source yes and i can use my gold to make some boots yeah but to make a long story short i kept persevering running through the nether until i finally got home oh i see dirt i've been here before <gasps> ladies and gentlemen we have done it come on get me out of here my name is farzy and i am the master of all the elements in minecraft i have so much adrenaline right now oh what a rush but that being said if this video gets 10,000 likes i will try to find the legend Legendary blue axolotl. And hopefully it'll be easier than today's challenge. But okay, let's get back to this burger. So I continued building up this thing with the intent of making it look a lot taller. I added more meat, cheese, lettuce, and tomatoes until I thought this thing looked pretty darn massive. But overall, the burger's looking really tall and really grand. But I do still want to add some more things on the burger to make it a little more colorful. It's very just like brown, yellow, green, red, and like that's it. So I want to add a few more details details. And I think I have an idea. BRB. How about some bacon in our burger? And I think we all know what's coming next. No, not again. It will not happen twice today, I promise. I shall protect you. All right, everybody, be careful. Get up on the bacon. Good. Uh, why don't you stay down there? Easy peasy. No, 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 no. The bacon's escaping. Luckily, I came prepared. And it's good enough. Stupid pigs. Okay, now there's at least one pig in every piece of bacon. I really like this whole 3D topping idea coming out of the burger. So why don't we do some more? So I smacked some floppy pickles on the top and some sliced onions on the bottom. Oh, this thing is looking awesome. And now we are down to our final ingredient, which is also the most important ingredient. Farzee's secret sauce. So what can we use for a secret sauce kind of block? I'm thinking something of like the white or off-white variety. Maybe concrete? Yeah, sure. Now I just gotta add in the secret ingredient for the sauce, which is vegetables. It's just completely healthy and normal vegetables and nothing else. And please ignore those bubbles in the sauce. It's all just vegetables, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Ignoring my secret sauce, the very last thing we gotta do is add a bun on top, which will be comprised of jungle wood and little birch buttons as sesame seeds. And that is how we do it. Oh, jeez. Uh, ignore him. He's not part of this build. He has no association with the burger or my sauce. But there we have it. The world's biggest burger. And I think that means I earned a disco break. So on that note, make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.